Pea brains. Pea brains. So pea brains is about brains much smaller than ours. If you look at a human brain, it's about a litre in volume, and if you were to count the nerve cells one by one, one per second, you would have to count for 32 years until you are counting them all. If we instead look at an insect brain, these brains, we can fit 200 out of these brains into one single pea. Again, if you are to count the nerve cells one by one, you only have to do it for a little bit more than 24 hours. So 24 hours, as opposed to 32 years, is an incredible difference in complexity and offers totally different solutions to problems. Even so, among the insects I work on, there are several solutions to problems that we can't solve ourselves. For example, if we look at insects, they can fly. Humans cannot. These bees you're looking at are orchid bees. These are the male bees that are collecting scent from the trees with their front legs. They're mixing the scent then in their back legs, making perfume to attract females. The best perfume gets the best woman. Then we move over to the nocturnal bees in the Panamanian rainforest. These bees return every single night to their own little nest stick out in the rainforest. Among billions of sticks, they manage to find their own stick. If I take this stick, drop it on the floor, or the forest floor, I walk 10 meters away. It's so dark, I have no chance of finding this stick again. But this bee, she returns from hundreds or thousands of meters every single night, locating her own stick. Then we have the amazing honeybees. The bee is seen now moving up in the screen, she now goes down, she moves up while constantly shaking her bum from side to side. She is telling her sisters where to go to find food. She tells them exactly in which direction to go, how far to go, and she does this by shaking her bum from side to side. And the bees in there, they can actually read this language go out and find the food. When it comes to me, I can't give directions, I cannot take directions, and this also goes for most humans. Then, if we speak about flying, well, not even Santa Claus can fly, and when we come to the art of making perfume, well, I must say, among my friends, these guys still have a lot to learn when it comes to mixing their own perfume. So how is it then that insects with such small brains can still solve these complex problems and we cannot? Well, how insects do it, I'm here to tell you. But first, I want to test your brain how you can solve a problem. So your task now is to count the number of times their team dressed in white is passing a basketball between them. This is made slightly more complicated because there's also a black team passing another ball. But your task is to count how many times the white team is passing the ball between them. It's fast and we will begin now. How many counted to 12? 13? 14? 13. Good, you can obviously count, but my main question was how many of you saw a dancing bear? Oh. How many saw that? Those of you that did not see a bear, raise your hand. I did not see a bear, I totally missed the bear. Yeah, that's a lot. Okay. I'll give you a second chance. Now just look for the bear. It's a big black bear that will move across the screen. Not fast even. So here we go. Just l look out for the bear. Here he comes. He's now in the center and he's dancing its way out. You miss this bear because your brains are so incredibly good. Because when I ask you to look for what the white players were doing, your brain, it doesn't process the information about the black players, and then also all the black bears disappear. This is what insects do 
Specifically, they get rid of all the information that is not important. This is how they solve difficult tasks. They just get rid of the information that is not important. So, let's say we have a bee flying across a meadow with tulips. Now she adjusts her flight speed according to how fast the image of the world moves across her retina. For this, it's not important that it's tulips. Ugh, doesn't matter. Could it as well be a row of you investors? To the bee, it doesn't matter which colors they are. We get rid of that, not important. Details in his face is of no importance. Get rid of that. Actually, we can just as well replace him with a single white line. Because all the bee is looking for is the difference between bright and dark. So, there is equally much information to be processed in the image above as they get rid of in the image below. And the bee can fly safely across the meadow. Why, then, is it important to understand how these pea brains work? Well, it is of big importance for these. This is a device that is working on several little small brains inside of it. If we can find out exactly what is the minimal amount of information we need to process for every single task, we can make these ones much more efficient. We can make them more power efficient. We can fit more things into them. We, in a, we in a way, get more amu amusement per invested krona out of these devices. But it is important to remember that also small minds can lie behind big crimes. So among my insect friends that I meet on my everyday life, we have the dung beetles. They are masters of calculated theft. This guy here, he has made his own lunchbox. Today on the menu is cow dung. This will keep him fed for three days. Other beetles will move in and they have to decide, do I have to wake one on my own or can I simply steal somebody else's? <laughs> so this is calculated theft. We also have selective murder among my friends. So this here is a drowned bee. It's a male bee. All they do in the beehive is really just to eat and have sex. That is jolly good. As long as it's summer, it's all happy days, we can all enjoy ourselves. They can stay there, that's fine, it's kind of entertaining. But as winter approaches, the bees have to filter away everything that is not important for their survival and oh, goodbye to the men. So all the female bees, they just throw out all the male bees until they are too exhausted to ever get in again and they simply die. But this kind of selective murder app is something I hope I never need to download to my iPhone. Thank you.